It is Thursday, April 9th, and we are looking at a 1913 Evinrood rowboat motor. About the fourth year, I guess, of production for Evinrood Outboards. The company was started by Ole Evinrood and Bess Evinrood. Ole was the engineering part of it, and Bess was the business part of a venture that grew to a worldwide corporation. Anyway, we're going to see if we can run it. I just had a a piston ring built for this thing and piston ring four is huge it only uses a single ring the ring is a half inch wide it has a hole in it for the locating dowel on the piston to keep the piston ring from moving and catching a port and it has a stepped gap in it the uh, ring is also not built as a true uh, as a true i guess circle i guess you want to call it all the way around the ring is a, it, although it is a true circle it is built as an eccentric. You can see down here at the bottom, it's 110,000 thick down here. But up at the top, it's only 70,000 thick. The reason being is that the ring tension has reduced to an acceptable level at the ring gap by reducing the, the, uh, the amount of material there. It's kind of a difficult ring to have built, so if anybody wants to get one built, hold on to your wallet. To do it, uh, I've got one more that's still 110,000 thick all the way around without the hole in it yet. And obviously it's got to be cut down to uh, about 40,000 on the, on the end gap size. So if you're thinking you're going to go out there and get a $10 ring for one of these things, think again. Anyway, got it hooked up to a uh, buzz coil and running a 6 volt battery through the buzz coil and up to the engine. Uh, the uh, negative side of the of the buzz coil goes in through the in through the set of points on the timer right here, and then uh, ground battery ground goes back to the engine frame on here. The uh, mixture is about sixteen to one or twenty to one anywhere through there, and uh, really it's it's I've only run it for about twenty seconds, and that was earlier today. It's stone cold, so. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to put my foot up here and see if I can keep this thing, keep this thing from kicking around on us. We are, turn the switch on here, and we are ready to go. I'm going to prime it. And let's let it rip. 